to Channel Sport this morning. Rotini Akidele, sports journalist, analyst, uh, joins us uh, now to talk about a whole lot. Uh, Rotini, good morning and thanks uh, for coming. Good morning. Right. How are you doing? I'm all right. Yeah. Okay. It's good to see you, Rotini. <laughs> uh, let's go straight to um, the Super Bowl comes of Nigeria, yep. getting ready for the World Cup in France and their uh, in Cyprus, at the moment, uh, playing that invitational tournament. Um, the story is that uh, they faced off against Belgium in their last group C match, and they lost uh, by a lone goal. As a result, uh, they finished third in that particular group. And that's the confirmation of the scoreline. Now, uh, Austria uh, winning against Slovakia, while Belgium defeated Nigeria by a lone goal. Rosemary, let's just quick overall, um, your quick uh, overall assessment uh, of the Falcons are the Cyprus Cup. They won only one game, and that was even a very nervy one against uh, uh, Slovakia. That's the table as well to Cecilia uh, Rotini. And um, that's, not, that's not Nigeria's table, apparently. Yeah. That's not Nigeria's table. Uh, we'll, we'll get back to that later. But your assessment uh, of Nigeria's performance in Cyprus? Uh, well, <laughs> I like the fact that we, we actually got to play games. Okay. Uh, we've got to play friendly. That's the not most important. Yeah, that's very important. And I think there's been a bit of, um, from the first game against Austria, uh, apart from the fact that goalkeeper got a red card early right. on, probably disrupted the plans of the team and all, went on to lose by four goals to one. Okay. There was an improvement in the second game. We were up by three goals. Uh, yes, due to some very funny calls. I think how many penalties, you know. Uh, being considered and all of that, and then still managed, still went on to win that Super game four three. Yes. I think that was an improvement from the first game, right? And that predicted um, at least a three goal uh, loss against Belgium because really? Belgium, yeah, because I mean we lost to Austria. Austria were Euro twenty seventeen semi finals. Of course, Belgium is also a very strong side. Strong side. Netherlands are the defending champions right. of Europe. So yes. you look at these teams and compare them to the Falcons. You feel we stand no chance. Everybody knew. We're going to lose that game. But I was impressed. I was lost by just a goal. goal. So if you ask me, I think there's been an improvement uh, in, from the first game to the last game against Belgium. I think um, the last game remaining, we, we should probably see an, a, a better performance. But at the end of the day, it's all about looking at the team, uh, checking the loopholes, trying to correct it early enough before your next uh, match or whatever, assignment, uh, yeah. your next assignment. Right. So, I think it's been really, it's, it's, it's a good, um, it's been a good outing for the Falcons. It's not okay. really a bad Interesting. one. Interesting. Yeah. Good yeah. outing. Let, let, let's, let me put it this way again. You know? <laughs> um, when we saw that particular draw mm -hmm. uh, night at the World Cup, France and uh, Korea and uh, uh, Norway, right, group of death. Yeah, a lot of people felt for the Falcons to have a chance of progressing. They need to like, really, really prepare for this competition. We've yeah. seen them in China. Uh, at the Invitational Tournament, now in Cyprus. From then until now, would you say uh, you're a lot more confident now uh, in, you know, in the Super Falcons play, you know, considering what they're going to face at the World Cup? No. Uh, no? From, from when? I mean, from, from the outcome. From, from the outcome trial. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. From there. I mean, as I said, there's, there's been an improvement. The China Tournament, uh, I think they lost to Korea in their first game mm -hmm. and then went on to the next game and won. Mm -hmm. uh, even though you would probably argue that uh, they were not a big opposition and all of that. But the fact that an African side was able to beat uh, a Romanian side, that was a plus. And then we got to Cyprus, lost to Austria, won against Slovakia, uh, lost narrowly to Belgium. If you look at the outcome performance leading down to this um, invitational tournament, mm -hmm. you should give them a plus. I think uh, I was talking to one of the players off, off the air and uh, she was saying... I just asked this funny question that we like to ask. What's the difference between the local coach and these foreigners that you have? And she said a whole lot. And I was oh. like, wow. Okay, All right. fine. So you guys should just enjoy yourself. I mean, mm -hmm. try to raise your game. Try to, um, I mean, as I, as I said earlier, whatever loopholes that you notice, you know, to work on it. Work on it before your next assignment. I'm hoping that we'll probably get um, another robust itinerary before the World Cup, mm -hmm. for the Falcons. If I thought they had the invitational tournaments, let's create invitational tournaments. You know, if, if, it's, <laughs> if that's what we need, because you look at the French side, uh, on paper, we've lost that game. You go over to Norway, who have been serial campaigners. <laughs> on on paper, paper, we've lost. lost <laughs> Korea DPR just stopped South Africa uh, some, some, some days ago. So you ask yourself, we stand no chance against Korea DPR. So on paper, we, that, yes, you, are, you said that group was a group of death. 
We have no chance. We have no chance mm -hmm. at the World Cup. But then again, I feel with the preparations, the way it's going, if we keep our focus, uh, focus right and we make teams, uh, we, we make teams uh, find sweat, it very difficult sweat to, to, beat. To, to play us. Right. Not even to beat us now. Okay. I mean, we can get a draw in all of these games. But if, <laughs> if, we, if, we, if, we, if we make teams very difficult to play us, then who says uh, it's a 24 team tournament? Mm -hmm. We might probably qualify as best loser or something. Right. All right. See, in this one, I think, I mean, I agree with what he said and all that because if you, we watched them all through Ocon, we felt, okay, they were really, this was one of the worst performances they've had, but they ended up winning because yeah. they have that winning mentality and the strength in them and all that tenacity. They had to hold on to be able to win the, the cup. And then we went, they went to China, of course. Mm -hmm. They finished third, bronze, and all that. And this yeah. one, they're going to be playing for the seventh or eighth place and see that classification game and all that. And if you check out the countries, they've been going. And this is the first time we actually... When was the last time Falcons actually came for this? Top, top Cup? side. It's been a all while. I mean, a whole long time. I mean, South and Africa, all that. In, uh, I mean, South Africa have been fourth appearance, fourth appearance and all that. So, all this, so, so many countries have been coming here. So I think it's just a plus for the Falcons, playing against Europeans and improving every day. If, for instance, maybe after winning their first game, they've lost the second and the third and the fourth, we're like, oh, this is woeful. Well, the progression, as you mentioned, you know, from been, four one and that four one, you yeah. know, they played ten. I mean, fifth. I mean, time. they just almost like the whole ninety minutes mm -hmm. was against eleven and against ten. And the second one, the two penalty calls and all that, you know, that they conceded. And of course, this third one against Belgium, of course, they stand no chance against them, and they got, you know, beaten by just one nil. I think it's an improvement, progression, and all that. And you see, have time. This is March. The championship is going to be in June. You see, have. April, May, for them to and have said, more friendlies. Hopefully we'll Maybe get, I think uh, we'll then get I actually itinerary. talked about yeah. having like two or three more friendlies. No you know, problem. Before but the before World the friendlies, it's not about to go back to your houses, come back three days to a friendly. Let's, Preparations let's, yeah, let's, yeah, they've let's not really been that, doing that. Let's like, have that staying together for go a while. To, I mean, I know some of them play, some of them have their leagues running. Mm -hmm. So if you excuse the players that are currently active, with their teams in, um, in, in, in leagues mm -hmm. across Europe, yeah. especially. Get the others to come. Let, let that team bond in. Uh, let it I'll continue. You know, mm -hmm. by the time you play, I mean, uh, France is, is it France? Norway is playing Cameroon? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah in some, some few days. We can also play some of these big teams. Why not? You know, not? since we have two European sides in our group, I think we should focus more on European. All right. So and that's, and that's, that's there's just no my point opinion. playing every African, no, you, any you, African you, team at all nah. for strength or for anything. It's not going to do us playing any against good. some guys or it's something. It's not going to do us any good. Nah. Okay, okay, so, so maybe I think an FA at line, I mean, France or Spain, or I, can't, I think yeah, Spain. It should, um, it should be nice. Have some countries but that we need to play. Before the friendlies play. happen. They need to be together okay. for like one week. What we call camp. Put them in camp. Really? Well, it's hard because some of the clubs won't release them at all. Nah, well, Maybe just still a long three way. days oh, camping. I get what he's saying. That, you, you because see, all we did in Cyprus what, was players actually flying in. They left on Sunday. They were playing on what we'll, no transit. What, what we'll see they were again. playing on a What we'll probably see again is years before the World Cup, of course, the plans are there. So our Falcons will go to camp maybe two weeks before the World Cup. I hear they might probably be going to Austria, where mm -hmm. it's probably yeah. going to be for uh, Russia as well. Yeah, pretty good. I'm just saying that's the World Cup preparation proper like this is leading up to the world cup world cup starts in two three weeks and then you're going to camp fine sure. but before then what happens to this girl are, are they going to come back from Cyprus and say we don't everybody know go when home the league here is resuming and some of them we don't know when the yeah. nwfl will, will mm -hmm. start or is the nwpl now will start so if you have those players that are free in court i know it's going to probably cost nff more money and all, well uh, more money yeah, and all of that yeah so, actually need i mean let, let's see we I mean, need just that have, Hopefully, hopefully, corporate bodies can come. Yeah, in. just All just right. fight, just adopt but need, them. We need to put out your, a good performance. Adopt them as your babies. I want to see a replica of 1999. Right. That was lovely. I mean, I mean, that was okay, lovely. Quick one before we go, <laughs> before we move on from the Super Falcon, since you've brought you brought it up now. Yeah. Um, that team in 1999. Yeah. And this thing that we have now, in mm -hmm. terms of talent. Somebody wants to compare. Okay. I don't like com uh, comparing. Precisely. Why not? I mean, no, I, pa Why that's, not? That's a pass. Look at the players <laughs> we are. There. It's, Messi, uh, it's uh, a huge Messi, difference. Messi Akide, Florence Amagbeni, uh, uh, you can go on, no, no, Kilama Ajayi. If, if, you're, if you're going to go on like that, then just give it to them. We don't have to compare. <laughs> yeah, I just asked you, like, which one do you think in terms of talent is the better side? This is straightforward in, terms, in, in terms of talent. talent. wise Because probably... that's going to play a big role in terms of what you, what you hope to achieve uh, at the World Cup. The yeah, talent can that I, you I like, can I help him out? Can what, I help you out? What I can the say. The names he mentioned, you mentioned how many names, like four. 
right? Yeah, the law. Okay, now, the how the many law. can you actually mention right now that you can say, okay, these are what this is? Tell me. Brian is it? Koshola. Okay. You're still going back. <laughs> still going back. Don't, don't need to compare. Just give it to them. Don't need to compare there. with the score that we have right now. I think they are far better. Football is uh, football. Football is not uh, wasn't <laughs> the same in 1999. Football was different in 1999. Yes. Football. Yeah, you've was... just found a way to dodge that question. I wonder I why. I, you know, you know, it's just I mean, like you comparing Maham to. Which is the new girl, Akali like Lloyd, or not? You can come, why can't you compare? You can't. That's what you need to before you move forward. Except you, you look at the, if you want to compare, then you look at the numbers. He's okay, looking probably, at the squad. No, he's look, look, probably look at the numbers. Mayaham scored, let's assume, 50 goals no, in, we're not looking in 70 at appearances. Okay. Kali Lloyd has scored 61 goals in 70 appearances. So that means Kali Lloyd better. I'm just saying, if you want to take the numbers and use it, it to compare, go ahead. He's not looking but at... But if you talk about talent, um, experience... I don't know. You, you can't compare. You know, you can't he's actually compare. looking at the squad. He's, just, he's looking at the squad. He's not looking at individual players. He's looking at the squad. And I'm he, looking at the I mean, he, he was talent. He's looking at individual talent. Just talent and not the yes. squad. Yeah. yeah. Okay, please. I mean, it's like can we move on from this one? Because we can actually compare. Squad.